look at where we are down here in the CME video room. I'm Ahmed, I'm here with Daniel, and we're talking about some cool guitars. Yeah, so we've got the Squire Classic Vibe Competition Orange Mustang and Mustang Bass. Um, we have always really loved the competition era of Fender, and the orange is gonna be the most rare of those. So uh, what we wanted to do is try to recreate those the best that we could. Uh, and what we came up with Fender's current color offerings are gonna be Capri Orange, and then we have a Dakota Red Stripe, which is pretty much gonna get us into the territory of uh, the guitars that they were making in the late 60s. No, absolutely. I, uh, I think that these guitars have a really cool balance to them in that they're very clearly inspired by vintage 60s uh, Fenders, but they feel like any modern player could be could wield them now and uh, play them in all kinds of styles. Um, we just did Drain You and, you know, that gets pretty heavy and these <laughs> yeah. were able to withstand that as well, so Absolutely. I'm, I'm a fan of it. One baby to another says I'm lucky to met you We do have the nine and a half radius uh, on the fingerboards, so we are uh, getting a little bit more modern there. Uh, these also have a bone nut, and um, the laurel fingerboards actually turned out really, really dark on these, which we're proud of. Um, I'll be excited to see the rest of them and kind of, kind of see how uh, those turned out. Uh, so the pickups we have in these are going to be Fender designed Almaco pickups. So you're going to get a really nice vintage warm magnet sound. Mm. Um, but also something that when you combine it with the short scale, it really cuts through the mix nicely. And uh, I mean, just in general, you know how comfortable these are to play. Absolutely. Uh, They're really great. something special. <laughs> Also with this one, um, there's so many options for pickup selection. Um, yeah, it took yeah. me a it took me a minute to like understand the <laughs> the, the electronics of a Mustang, but. You know, if you're familiar with it, I'm sure, you know, you can get into it easily. Yeah, I mean, one of the first Fender guitars to really have phase options. So you can put both switches in one direction for an in-phase sound, or you can slide them down to actually opposite phases and get that real quacky out-of-phase sound. And uh, yeah, just a really, really versatile guitar that even though it was meant for beginners, it's something that really anybody can appreciate. True. And so many bands today are, you know, playing Mustangs. And uh, I think it just goes to show how these are timeless instruments. And yeah. this one is very playable. Yeah, I'm not very hip and I'm pretty out of the loop since 2006 or so. <laughs> uh, who, who do you like that's playing Mustangs? Um, Molly from Always is the first nice. person who comes to my head when I think of a Mustang. So nice. I think, nice. uh, yeah, that's one of my favorite players. For sure. My first exposure to 
the Mustang guitar and Mustang bass was definitely talking heads. Yeah. Um, not sure if Fender just gave uh, David Byrne and Tina Weymouth yeah. uh, these models to play on back in the day, but I'm really glad that they did because they exposed just uh, how unique of a model it really is. Yeah, and is. it becomes a part, like an essential part of you know people's sound just because of how unique they are. Absolutely. Cool guitars. So we do have these up for pre-order now. Um, we are selling through them fairly quickly, but I would imagine that anybody who wants to be able to grab one is going to be able to get one on the website right now. Sweet. Oh, nice shirt, by the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs>